good day. This is the Valder Baby Show in Dallas, Texas. Who am I speaking with? This is Gail. Well, Gail Simmons, thank you and welcome to the show. It's the holidays. What do you know that we need to know? You know, there's so much at, this, at the holidays I like to think about, and most of it starts in the kitchen. I love spending time with family, loved ones, friends at this time of year, entertaining, cooking, sharing a meal. But I also want to make it easy, so I want to arm you with some tips that not only will make your holiday easier, but definitely make it more delicious using fresh, real ingredients, because we all know real ingredients lead to better taste. I like that. So you're online with my audience. We told them that you were coming today, and I've got a couple Facebook questions for you, but go ahead. What do you have for us in Real Ingredients? Sure. Well, the first thing I like to do when guests come to my house is welcome them with a great fresh drink, something bright to whet their appetite for what's to come and what they're going to eat later. One of the drinks I love right now is a ginger lemon pomegranate sparkler. I make it starting with pure leaf lemon iced tea. I love partnering with them because it's made from real brewed tea leaves, so you know you're getting the re real best taste. And what I do is I infuse the iced tea with fresh ginger, which gives it a really festive, spicy flavor. I top it with fresh pomegranate juice, some club soda, and then some pomegranate seeds and a little cinnamon stick to top it off, which really adds to the festiveness of this, of this little drink. It's the perfect way to start a meal. And then in terms You make it sound pretty. It is. It's pretty. It's also delicious, and it really is the best way, I think, to welcome guests when they come to my house. And then I want to make great desserts over the holidays because you want to indulge a little bit, but you also don't want to be weighed down. So one of the desserts that I love right now is a tart apple crumble. It's a classic crumble, but it's really light, fresh, made with apples that are at their peak right now in the season. So I take chopped up apples, crunchy and juicy, and I'm adding a little bit of cinnamon, some vanilla, lemon zest and lemon juice, fresh of course, and then some brown sugar. And I give that a big mix, toss it to combine it well, and then I'm going to put it into a buttered baking dish that I have right here and that I've prepared. And once that goes in, I'm going to make a little topping that I can put on top of it. This topping that I've made has ground pecans, which I think are so great at this time of year and really add a nutty flavor to the dish. And I've mixed them with cinnamon, some more lemon zest, some quick cooking oats, some more brown sugar, and then some butter to bring it all together. And I toss that right over the apples press it down into the bowl evenly, and this just pops right in the oven. It's as easy, easy as that. <laughs> do you have anything else to wrap us up with? Well, one thing to think about during the holidays that I like to do at this time of year is to give back a little bit and, and really think about how grateful I am for the blessings I have. So. I like to also think about how I can give to others. And this year, Pure Leaf is partnering with an amazing nonprofit organization called Wholesome Wave. And we're giving $50,000 to them to help them get fresh fruits and vegetables to the populations that need it the most. So that, to me, is a great way to give back. That really, really is. Fresh fruit and vegetables that, you know, in food deserts, I'm sure that's part of what they're doing. That is a great opportunity, Gail. That's exactly right. And you can find all of the information about that as well as these recipes and lots more tips for the holidays at pureleaf.com. Well, I'm going to make that apple thing, and I think my audience probably will be also. i got one Facebook question for you. Sure. When you say real ingredients, what are you referring to? I mean ingredients that are made from you know, the least processed as possible, things that are fresh, that are seasonal, and using ingredients that come from the best places, that, that you know you're not getting a lot of things made from concentrates or powders, things that really you know are going to taste the best because they're as fresh as they can be. Thank you so much, Gail Simmons, and that's the Facebook question today. And I want to thank you for giving us that great inspiration. I look forward to hearing from you for the holidays. Sounds great. Thank you. Happy holidays. Happy holidays.